What's up guys, I'm Thomas of the RaceX team and welcome to One Day in the Workshop by RaceX, the first online transmission of motorcycle mechanics that every day broadcasts an episode entirely dedicated to motorcycle mechanics directly on YouTube and on the major online channels. With in-depth video tutorials from our mechanics and reactions from Creative Commons online videos. Stay tuned and we'll see you after the break for today's video. Customers frequently ask me how to replace motorcycle clutch plates, when to replace the motorcycle clutch, how much it costs to change the motorcycle clutch, and how to unlock the motorcycle clutch. All of these are questions that I will attempt to answer in this episode. This is an example video and obviously on each vehicle, there will be small tricks and techniques to be analyzed, which we explain in a more concrete and in-depth way on our complete course, which you can find directly in the description. Also, remember that if you log in today, you will receive a 70% discount absurd, right? But let's get to the point and look at how this clutch has changed. As with all motor vehicles, even a motorcycle with gears has a clutch. Let's look at some details to learn more and avoid surprises. What is the clutch? In principle, the clutch is not a single piece, but rather a group of pieces that deal with power transmission from the engine to the gearbox, power transmission and force distribution and management of the motorcycle's various speeds. It is ensured by the various gear ratios. The clutch has a variable duration that is determined by several factors, including riding style and motorcycle type. Each bike has a clutch that is properly designed and sized for its engine and the power it produces. The operation of replacing a motorcycle clutch is not simple, but it is not impossible. In general, I try to explain the operations to you, but if you have any doubts or do not feel like it, I recommend that you consider our complete course, which can provide you with more information beginning with a basic understanding. To purchase the clutch, clutch discs, or clutch bell, I recommend browsing the large selection of motorcycle spare parts available online. One is needed for clutch replacement, wrench or fix wrench of the numbers suitable for your clutch, caliper, oil containment tray, paper gasket and putty paste for gasket, new clutch discs, possible detergent product. How to disassemble the clutch? The first step in any maintenance procedure is to disassemble the clutch unit. To accomplish this, the oil in the oil bath clutch housing must be removed. I'd recommend that you position the bike so that the clutch oil drains completely. To avoid causing damage to the bike's bodywork, I recommend that you find a way to protect the bike where it rests on the ground if you don't have a stand or a lift bench. All that remains is to unscrew the screws that hold the clutch housing in place with the appropriate spanner, gradually and sequentially loosening them. After removing the cover, remove the clutch unit and any gaskets that were present between the cover and the crankcase. If the gasket becomes stuck to the seat, remove it carefully without using sharp tools to avoid scratching or scratching the gasket's seat. If necessary, use appropriate solvents to thoroughly remove and clean the gasket seat before reassembling the new gasket to ensure a good seal. How to replace motorcycle clutch discs? Now you must replace the clutch plates, which requires loosening the nuts or screws that hold the pressure plate. So I recommend that you unscrew them slightly to prevent the springs from jumping out of their seat. Following this operation, the clutch pressure plate can be removed and the clutch unit's various driving discs, interspersed with separation steel discs, extracted. How to close the clutch block You have completed the clutch block closure after inserting the new clutch plates purchased in accordance with the model of the bike. Screw the pressure plate in place without compressing the springs. Before positioning the crankcase, install the gasket that came with the clutch or that you previously purchased, following the model's instructions. The gasket must be precisely shaped to fit the engine block and crankcase on which it will be installed. If you don't have a shaped gasket, you can use the liquid gaskets in the tube, spreading the liquid to follow the shape of the crankcase. Once the casing has been placed, tighten all the screws on the cover, taking care to tighten them gradually and precisely. Remember to refill the clutch housing oil before starting the engine. How long does it take to change the clutch? Changing the clutch is not a time-consuming task. If you have all of the necessary materials on hand, including tools, you can replace the clutch in about 30 minutes. The length of the intervention is also determined by your ability to use the tools and the level of accuracy you devote to the intervention. In general, no more than one hour of work per day. But to replace the motorcycle clutch? The life of the clutch plates is affected by several factors, including engine type and driving style. On average, clutch replacement occurs after 30,000 kilometers, Around this mileage, you should replace the cork clutch plates and check the belt teeth if you hear noises. Symptoms to understand if the clutch needs to be changed. There are some symptoms that can help you understand when the clutch is worn. Clutch lever is stiffer than usual and the clutch pulls off at the bottom, suggesting that it has come. When shifting gears, I hear scratching. 
You have difficulty shifting gears, the clutch makes strange noises when you press the clutch lever, you hear jerks when you start the engine, and you smell a terrible, acrid odor. How to unlock motorcycle clutch If the motorcycle is stationary for an extended period of time, the clutch plates may become stuck together due to prolonged contact. See below for instructions on how to release the motorcycle's clutch. There is no need to rely on the clutch lever by repeatedly pulling and releasing it. Instead, the pressure on the discs must be released by attempting to tear with the gear engaged and the clutch pulled, insisting that it should occasionally come undone. If this isn't enough, I recommend disassembling the clutch and removing the discs by lightly passing abrasive paper over them to remove the patina that is formed on the contact surface, where and ensuring that no pieces have detached from the abrasive surface of the discs. If everything is in working order, thoroughly clean the contact surface of the discs before reassembling them. Also, ensure that there is a sufficient thickness of abrasive material on the discs, otherwise consider replacing them. Can the clutch and clutch bell be changed at the same time? Not always, and it is not a required action, but it is necessary to determine if the bell is only to be cleaned and to assess the degree of wear. Great guys, and that's all for today. On behalf of the RaceX team, we hope that today's content has been of assistance and support to many of you. We remind you that this and many other topics can be found on our Motorcycle Mechanics course, the leading course in Motorcycle Mechanics Online, which guarantees you a final certification upon passing the exam. Don't put it off any longer, join the RaceX team.